In this video, we're going to find the first order correction to the energy. So this EN1, starting from uh, this equation from a perturbation series expansion. And remember here that we have two unknowns, the first order correction to the state and the first energy, uh, first order energy correction. Uh, so we need to build to get rid of, of one of them so that we can figure out the value of the other. And the way to do that is we're going to look at uh, the component of this equation. So we think of this as a vector equation. Uh, we want to look at the component of this equation along uh, the state, the original en energy eigenstate. And what this means is uh, we multiply both sides by the bra of this state. So apply this to both sides of the equation. And what this gives us is something like this. Okay, remember here the ENs are constants. Anything with a hat is an operator. We'll begin with the left-hand side. So the second term over here, uh, so we have this. So in the second term, uh, this energy is a constant. So we'll be able to take it out. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't operate on either one of these, uh, on either on this cat or on this bra. And this first term over here, you can identify this part as the original time independent Schrodinger equation, complex conjugated. So for this equation, we have by the definition of stationary states that this is just equal to, to this. So this is just a time independent Schrodinger equation, complex conjugated. Uh, we have this right-hand side over here that we won't write just yet. So this term can now be written like this. And this is the same as the second term that we have over here. So what we get from this is this left-hand side cancels out and it's equal to zero, and this is equal to this right-hand side over here. So what we're left with then is this equation to solve. We can separate out these two parts and bring the other one to the left-hand side. Okay, this one you can think of it two ways. You can think of it as the expectation value of a constant, which is just the constant itself. So this gives us the 
expectation value of the first order correction to the energy. You can also think of it as this being a constant. It can be taken out of the brackets. And these states are orthonormal. So this inner product will just give you one. So the left hand side will get the first order correction. And the right hand side, we get the expectation value of the perturbation. So this is our first general result. So this gives us a first order correction to the energy, EN zero. Notice here that we didn't need to know how the eigenstate was changed by the perturbation. The only thing that comes into play over here is the original eigenstate N0, which is non-degenerate. And this is one of the most famous results in quantum mechanics. It's certainly one of the most useful and we'll be using it extensively. So having found one of the unknowns in our first order equation, we're going to use this. And in the next video, we're going to solve for the first order correction to the state.